a, a reminder. I'd say it's never easy. This portion up here above the overnight high is the portion of this was the news bar. This is the unauctioned part. And I said there's a good likelihood that we will get into a portion of that before we're done today because that's never been auctioned. That, that is why I worry, and I don't want to use that term negatively, but why I think about the idea of who participated in this trade. You know, okay, fine, if you're a risk taker and you don't care and you're playing a simulated contract or whatever, you just want to post, you know, some fabulous ideas out there on, on the stream for other people, but it's not real money that you traded or or it's not even your own, it's a client's, fine. Oh, yeah, easy. I shorted 86 and I got 75 and 76 and that was that. Well, like I said, at the end of the day, not many participants, uh, you know, played this trade. Risk adverse traders aren't going to go out at the end of the day in short 86 area, 85 area and say, okay, I know exactly what's going to happen with the news that's coming out and I'm going to make a killing coming this way. That's not reality. And anybody who's been around the market knows that. Now, you may have shorted the 88, 87 zone that we liked and you may have had a trailer. But if you were smart, you probably took some profits coming into the 82s, 83s. By the end of the day, figuring, okay, this support might hold. And you're not playing a position ahead of major news. And obviously, at the end of the day, certainly day traders are done, 90% of them. So whenever I see unauctioned territory like this, my assumption, and that's why I made that post earlier, my assumption is that we can come back and retest it because all of the traders who missed it now are so convinced we're going down that they can't wait to short and get themselves in trouble because they don't understand that phenomena, that, that this move has already kind of priced in to here and to here. And before we can come down and go this way, we probably will need to come back and test this breakdown zone. So that's why I said to you today, be very cautious about overthinking the short side that it's just going to be a piece of cake come flying down. It just doesn't work that way. And this is the territory that I said there's a good likelihood we will come back and retest this portion up up to that 85 zone. And my guess is that a lot of aggressive shorts will be attempting the 82 to 85 as a, a short zone, and it may or may not work. You know, this 85, 75 area was that previous idea that we had, we talked about earlier today, the previous high. So the market can certainly, if it wants to, come back and retest these ideas. That's why I said stay neutral in your thinking. Don't, don't think anything more than, you know, range. Use the range of this red bar to assume that that's the trading range for now. The problem, we said, rain line, got to break this down. You got to break down yesterday's low, RTH. The market has still not done that. It can do that. I said we can go over either of these lines today. Don't have to hold firm. All right, if you're looking this short, reminder, this is a breakout. We've been making higher highs. <coughs> Here's the box we talked about. Good likelihood we'll explore this box. I said 75 was yesterday's support that I called. In good likelihood that we've already tested that a couple of times and it's held and the market is trying <clears throat> to come back and retest the breakdown. This is, this is how traders get in trouble because they don't understand the nature of the beast. And it is a beast. Here's your 120 chart. Problem today, in, in my opinion, is the divergence between the NASDAQ. You know, the NASDAQ has been, you know, 
taken out yesterday's low and come and retested the rain line, obviously, on the 60. So that's a good signal here to take some profits. Interesting day. At any rate, this is the, I guess I'd have to say, this is the conservative end of aggressive shorts. Because yesterday's high area, obviously, is resistance still broken. And we have been making higher highs and higher lows on a bounce. So this is a stop run. And, and if you're going to short, that's why I said, if you're going to take a short, you can give it a whack uh, above the 82, in the 82 to 85 zone, and risk two, try to make two. You know, that's the way I'd like to see traders play this. And with the idea of basically range type trading. All right. But that's what we're doing. And anybody who's long side took the risk earlier, got got our half gap, got our gap trade. If you've been playing this way and saying, okay, I think, yeah, that 77 is support for now. Remember, pre-market, we said cover your profits by 77 because we've got the half gap and gap trade. So if you made this trade and, and you know, <clears throat> getting ready for the open, you said, fine, I'm going to play that trade, and you played this way, and then you avoid a lot of the chop and said, I'm just going to pick one side, one way or the other. You still have got a great day already in terms of, you know, earning your daily vig. So today's not the type of day we're going to go look for home runs, singles and doubles. Okay, so this is the heart of the, uh, in my opinion, the aggressive shorts are coming in up here. Obviously, more conservative would be whacking it back here at yesterday's resistance zone. Never easy, gentlemen. That's all I can tell you. Never easy. And the idea today is we were, we were one leg up on the average trader who did not understand, especially those that I, I posted out on Twitter. And very few people listen to what I po put out there. Hey, who's this old guy? He didn't know anything. But, but the purpose of that po post was very simple. You guys didn't participate in this. Come on. Oh, we saw it coming. One guy said, we saw it coming for the NQ. Fine. You know, we, we expected that to pull back too. But were you a participant in it? Um, late day. See, that's that's where the key is. Because most traders are closing up shop by then. So fine, you may have shorted up here, but what did you do? Didn't you take your profits and go flat ahead of major news? Come on. So I, that's why, you know, really, I, I think Twitter is for entertainment. Yeah, but I get some good ideas from some solid traders out there. And I, I learn about market profile, that kind of thing. All right, um, got a breakout, obviously. Anything in this bar is fair game, and, and we can test any high once we break out the IB. Uh, I'm still thinking of this as a squeeze-type move. 30-minute chart, it's 15 especially, looks, looks reasonable. You know, this, this has been a very nice push this way. And probably we've got ourselves... Uh, <clears throat> Flat type A, op, typical option expiration. We've already got it pegged. We said 75 support. And my guess is we'll get a lot more chop before we're done. Be careful of spikes on the day like today. And close up shop early. That's my advice. If anybody is playing this end, the 82s to 85s as the resistance zone, you're fighting the day's push so far. Yesterday was not a negative day. Yesterday came back into the support zone. We had these several supports in here. We said, okay, first support, the 77, 78 area, and then the 75. Let's think of the 75. So far overnight, the 75 is held, and then RTH, we've had the 77 area hold. So the market right now is not showing a lot of volume, 
not showing a lot of conviction. And, you know, I'm going to say what I said earlier. Today is a day, today is a day not to be a big hero. Probably the 10 to 15 minute charts are reasonable to use. And just as yesterday sold off sharply, it got a lot of its work done you know, fast and quickly, and now we, we could be bouncing. So 15-minute chart, probably a, a reasonable chart to, to use for now. And all we know is we're retesting the breakdown zone, the news bar. There's a 15-minute bar. And you, you look at today's range, right? We're basically still inside the range of that bar, aren't we? Right? That's the news bar. So we're we're still inside that <clears throat> that range. Eighty five, seventy eight and a half for RTH. So all I can say. So once you learn to identify that as, okay, maybe we may need some auction territory, um, it gives you a little bit of confidence to be patient and not say, okay, I got a short, got to short this 78, <coughs> got to short this 79. Because you understand the context of that bar. Hope that helps.